what is up this year? LA in a minute, and I'm here in La Mirada. And if you've been to or even driven by La Mirada, chances are you've seen this. The 654-foot-tall KFI radio antenna tower. And not only is this a monument to one of the oldest and most historic radio stations in Los Angeles, it's absolutely integral to national security. Let's get into it. In the 1920s, radio communication was in its nascent stages, and Earl Anthony, who owned a car dealership, a Packard dealership, received a license to start a radio station, which he did from the rooftop of that dealership in downtown Los Angeles. The call letters were KFI. So KFI's transmission strength enabled them to carry very important events, the World Series, the Rose Bowl, the President's Fireside Chats. And this is the days before TV, when radio was of paramount importance, and that's how people got their information. So what does this site have to do with national security? Well, after Pearl Harbor was attacked in 1941, all potential targets on the West Coast went on high alert, especially the 50,000 watt transmitter that would have been the main resource for communication for people in the event of a further emergency. So KFI had armed guardsmen on site 24 hours a day, spotlights on the roof, and they even built a military style barracks right here to house the armed guardsmen. In 1947, KFI replaced the original tower with a 750-foot tower, not just to increase transmission, but to further enhance the national security in case something like that happened again. Furthermore, these two buildings behind me were constructed. These are called hemp buildings, high energy magnetic pulse, and they're built to repel the pulses from a nuclear blast. Why is that important? Because if the KFI tower or antenna gets damaged, what you have in there will allow the emergency signals to continue to be broadcast by FEMA. Now, unfortunately, in 2004, the original 750-foot KFI antenna tower was hit by a small aircraft and it collapsed and also killed the two people inside the airplane. Now, KFI was knocked off the air, but due to its emergency ability, it was right back on the air within one hour. Four years later, the new KFI antenna tower was erected right here in La Mirada, not quite as tall as the original, but still recognizable for miles around. Now, if you're wondering how that tower stays up now, well, there's three separate bases that look just like this, each one containing eight of these cables. And they're at strategic points where they hold the tower up through suspension. So remember, KFI is a very popular radio station, one of the most popular AM radio stations around with some extremely loyal listeners. But if something goes down, KFI becomes a main point for the emergency broadcast system. And it all starts right here at the KFI transmission tower and the KFI radio antenna in La Mirada. All right, LA, it's been a minute.